Hey gang, welcome back to my channel. And as you can see, I'm in my trailer in Slab City, although I will not be here when this video is released. Um, so I'm going to give a review of Slab City while I am still here. And then I'm going to make another review after I've left as sort of a retrospect. Um, it's a community. It's just as good as you've heard it is. And it's just as bad as you've heard it is. Because it's a community full of people. And pe people are complex, nuanced beings. Um, the people I have encountered have been super great, helpful. Um... And there are also, like, you know, dangerous people out here. Um, and also a lot of dogs. Perfect timing. Um, and um, my biggest surprise about Slab City is that I thought this was going to be, like, a big leftist community. But there's a mix of political views out here. And, like... There's American flags and shit, and I'm like, okay. Um, big Christian influence, although not everyone here is Christian. Um, and there is some openness, open-mindedness around that. Uh, I actually haven't run into anybody who is like super God, Jesus, Christian or anything. Um, people here don't really, you know, there are, there are churches here because churches have a, just insert themselves, but like people here is like, Everyone I've met so far is pretty lax about religion. Um, it's politics where people will kind of get in your face, especially since there are a lot of anti-vaxxers and anti-maskers and COVID deniers out here. Um, and then it kind of bleeds off into what's happening in other things because uh, Prevo, P-A-R-V-O, is also a huge issue out here. Um and um, I wouldn't say that is necessarily an unpleasant surprise. Um, you know, it's good to have a diverse community in that way. Um, as long as hateful views aren't rising to the top in the community, that's fine. Um, and I'm not surprised by how helpful everyone is because the, you know, regardless of your political views, people do understand that we all do better and we all do better. So people are helpful. So no one suffers. So they don't fall into bad shit. Um, there are some people who have fallen into bad shit out here and I hope that they heal and get better. I am thankful to not be one of those people. Um, and then my biggest disappointment is the lack of people here. And then as time went on, I found out why there's less people here. Um, the handlebar, which was the only soup kitchen, Lowe's and uh, another place closed, which were like why a lot of snowbird tourists were coming out here. Lowe's was the place where the snowbirds could conjugate in a safer space made specifically for them. And uh, the handlebar was the only soup kitchen. And um, it's hard to get food out here because this is an environment where you can grow food. So, um, yeah, like no soup kitchen, shit. Um, and I've met a lot of people who've only swung through for a few days and left because it's it's harder here. Um... And, like, I've only been here since the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, and I've already met a lot of people that only stayed one or two days. Some people stayed four or five days, and they got the fuck out of here. And I totally don't blame them. And, like, after learning what slabs used to be versus what it is now, I definitely see why. Um, and also COVID. Um, of course, 2020 was the, the big hit where people were like, no, um, couldn't even get out here if you wanted to because transportation was also shut down um and um now it's like that and those places being closed it's like no even i'm like it's it's not worth it like i've met great people and i've been very lucky to be able to 
last as long as I have. But, like, I'm also not going to tell you not to come out here. Like, come out here, meet people, see, go to some events, um, and leave. Um, because it's more sustainable for people who are in it for the long haul. But if you're just trying to come out and have fun, it's kind of like, after a week, you've seen everything. Um, and, um... Like, I, I'm i used to to internet drama. I've been on the internet for a long time. How internet drama impacts larger communities and how internet drama impacts smaller communities is definitely two different things. Um, somebody tried to start some internet drama with me, and I just saw that person this morning at the Oasis. We didn't start anything, so there wasn't anything. But um, that person just, like you know, you had all this to say online and then you see me in person and fucking crickets. All right. Uh, and meanwhile, there are people that will totally believe that person over me because they've just known them longer, regardless of what they said and how absolutely ridiculous they're being versus in a large town where it's like, or, or a city or whatever else, any other setting, but this small town setting, it's like, all right, you had something bad to say about this person. Well, there are also other people that know this person and we know this person, so we're not going to believe you. You're bullshit. See ya. Um, larger places definitely have less of a we know, we've know we known you longer hierarchy. And I also don't give a shit about people's egos. Like, by all means, it's whatever. Um... And people talk a lot about the violence here, but, like, things are different here. It, like, arson is a common occurrence out here. Uh, more so than I've seen it anywhere fucking else. But, like, it's just a part of how they do things, so it's normal. Like, I don't fucking... Anyway. Um... But it, it's everything you've heard it is. It's just as good as you've heard it is, and it's just as bad as you've heard it is. And I suggest coming out here to see it for a few days, but only be here for a few days. Just get the fuck out of here. Um, and that's it for the shorter review. Uh, there will be a longer review that I'm also going to um, write out that I'm working on now, and then I'm going to make another video. Um, but until then, thank y'all so much for stopping by the channel. Um... If you like this video, fucking share it because a lot of people want to know about Slab City. So share it. And I'll see you later.